Hi guys, it's Stephen from FIFA Solved. So this is the FIFA 16 No Touch Dribbling tutorial. I know a lot of you would have seen the title, No Touch Dribbling, and thought, uh, you know, put your noses up to it. But I'm telling you, I'm going to sell you the No Touch Dribbling by the end of this, because if used in the right way, it can be your best friend. It is absolutely insane. I'm going to show you exactly how you should be using it, and it, it can even confuse the top top players that's what's great about it it, it can beat the, the, the average players the, the crap players but it can also beat the ones in division one honestly if you use it in the right way um but watch it all the way through this tutorial i know it's a little bit longer than my, my normal tutorials but it's longer for a reason because it's completely in depth and um it's only by a couple minutes a bit a little bit longer but yeah um i'll be explaining the no touch dribbling tutorial in depth guys that's coming right up for the best FIFA 16 tips, check out FIFASolve.com Hi guys, so yeah, we'll get straight into this no touch dribbling tutorial, it is absolutely fantastic. Um, you really can just leave players for dead, it confuses them. Um, it's really good for going in one direction with the feint and then exiting in the other. That's the way that it really does the players and it will do the top players because they like to jockey and wait for you to make your move. And then if you do this, and they think you're making a move, then that will fool them. So the controls, I'll stop it with Coutinho there, as he did actually stop the ball anyway. So all you've got to remember is the left stick is to do the skill. I know it's normally the right stick, but you want to forget the right stick completely for once. It's the left stick, um, but you want to hold the LB or L1 button down on PlayStation, and um, you, that's to do the small feints, but I'm not even going to bother talking about them in this. I'm going to be talking about the big feints, and you want to hold LB and L1 or L1 and the right trigger or R2 button down simultaneously. You want to hold both of them down. I know they're on opposite ends, and it's a little bit confusing, but it's not. There's an easy way to remember it. Just remember LB or L1, right, for Xbox or PlayStation, and the sprint button. Just remember the sprint button, and that's an easy way to remember it. And then you hold them two down, and then you want to do the skill with the left stick. It's that easy. It's so easy to do. People think it's so hard because the buttons are in opposite directions, but it's not. It's really, really easy. So in this example coming up, I'm going to be doing sort of a, a, a sort of step over kind of feint, and I'll just push the left, left stick up once. It's in the direction you're facing, and I'm facing up at the moment, so it is up on the left stick. Just flick it up, and it'll do this. <laughs> um, look. It's not much, it might not look much in a minute, you wait until I'll slow it down for you there. So the next one I'm going to do is a just a feint to the left, and you just flick it left, it looks a lot better in um, speed it up than it does slow down, I assure you that, but you just flick the left stick to the left and it'll do a big feint, like this. And this is it in full, um, well that's the slow one, I'll slow that one down for you as well, this is the full, you know. Look, wait, wait, and then I'm down the byline, it confused the hell out of me, he didn't know where I was going, don't ask me how Kane missed that. But yeah, it is really good. It looks really poor when it's in slow motion, but when um, you know it's um, speeded up, it does look absolutely fantastic. Um, you, you probably thought it was going to be crap uh, when I slowed it down then, but it's not. And I'm doing this so much lately. I didn't use it actually on the demo, the, the, the no touch dribbling too much. I thought it was a bit of a poor feature, just like all of you probably think it is. But it's not. It's brilliant, guys. I, I, I was one of those that doubted it, but it is brilliant. And EA always overpowered a new feature. So with Jefferson Montero here, this is one of my favourite clips. It really is. I faint to the right three times in a row. The third time I really shouldn't have because oh, I get caught out. And I maybe should have done something else. But you watch this. <clears throat> Faint to the right, alright, I've got lucky there, I exit left, faint to the right, exit left, done two of them, faint to the right, and then the one comes behind me round the back, this is it in slow motion, faint to the right, go to the left, oh, I did get lucky with the first one, but this second one, I didn't get lucky, I faint to the right, he goes to the right, I exit to the left, um, and to exit, just let go of that LB button, that's the only button you have to let go of, what, what button are you holding down if you let go of that, you're holding the sprint button, and the left stick is to move, it's the direction, isn't it, so that's all you've got to remember, um, it's just to let go of that button as well, that LB or L1 button. So, I'm going to faint to the right in in this example, and he falls for it. Watch the one circled, he completely falls for the faint to the right. Look, I faint to the right, he's still going to the right, I completely do my exit to the left. The ball stays there, Montero goes to the right, but then he goes back to the ball. And this guy I actually did, this is the third, the third uh, faint to the right. But that one at the bottom, his teammate can try actually this player was using. I faint to the right, I do that one that I circled first, but that second one comes in right around the back and it was teammate control helping him out. With Balassi here, um, I, I do the one where I'm facing, so I press up, I flick the left stick up, and then I flick the left stick right, and then I actually exit right. Up, right, and then I exit right and pass it to Schweinsteiger. 
All you got to remember when you're going to exit, it, as I said already, is let go of the LB or L1 button because your hands will then only be on the sprint button and the, the, the directional, the left stick, because the skill is the left stick. So you, it's so easy to exit. You just let go of one button and you've got your hands on the other two. So, um, you know, because if you're holding down the L1 button and the R2 button and, and the left stick, then, you know, you, two of them are really all the ones that you need to sprint and... and the, to the, you know, to move the player in a direction with a left stick, it's brilliant. And um, this example with Urzo, I absolutely love this example because it's, it epitomises it as well. You don't always have to do the player. I use Urzo to distract the, the guy here. Look at Welbeck, he's not in a goal scoring position at the moment, but he breaks the neck to get forward. I know he's gonna. And the player completely forgets about uh, Welbeck because he concentrates on Urzo. I distract him with Urzo with a couple of feints. Look, wait, wait, oh mate, you forgot about uh, Welbeck running in behind with his pace. Uh, finesse it in the top corner and it's in the back of the net. Just because he was concentrating on Ozil because I distracted him with the with the no touch dribbling big feints. All I did was flick it up and down uh, with the left stick because that was you know the direction that um, you got to think think of it if you're going from left to right or from right to left like like here he's going from right to left. Flick it up or down because that's like like a sidestep. You know the ball roll um, because they're the best ones I find. You you can do them in all sort of directions. Um, but they'll, he'll do a big fake to the right or to the left of his body if, if you do that. And they really are the best ones, uh, the big feints, because they, they just, they, they do big, you know, from the side they do really big feints. If you just hold the LB or L1 done, he does a small feint, so I ain't covering that in this because I don't think they're effective enough. Um, if you hold the sprint button down as well, they do the big feints, and that's why I'm covering them because they're much more effective, as you can see. They're... I just threw that in because you can get fouls from it because you're not with the ball, are you? When you when you faint, you leave the ball behind, but then he gets the man. And this with Remy was absolutely insane. I absolutely love this clip as well. I was uh, no touch dribbling. The the guy off of the park look here faints. There, look at that lovely faint. He runs straight past me, bang. And this is the Matic clip I was on about. So what we're going to do is we're going to hold them two down. This is how to do it, proper how to do it. And we're going to faint to the right, but exit to the left. So I'm holding them two down, L1 and R2, you know the buttons now, I'm not going to say them anymore. You're holding them down simultaneously, but with the right uh, left stick, you flick it right. But then you exit left, right? You let go of that button, you let go of the LB or L1 button, and then you, you're going to go left with the left stick afterwards, aren't you? But you flick it right to, to, to faint right with the left stick. That's all the one, that, that's all you need to know about this upcoming. I faint to the right, and I exit left. Look, he, he runs straight past me, I even do all the air afterwards. But I'll break it down for you even more. Look at this guy. Because I fainted to the right, he goes right. You watch him. Look, in slow motion, I faint to the right. I exit left. He goes right because he fell for it. And that's the way you're going to do a lot of players with this no-touch dribbling, guys. You're going to faint one way and go the other way. And if they work you out halfway dur during a game, you can faint right and exit right. Get, exit in the same direction so you can mix up and be unpredictable. And that's another way how you, you can uh, um, you know, outthink them and be unpredictable. So guys, that is the No Touch Dribbling tutorial. Um, I hope it really helped. I hope you understood it because I, I was going really in depth with this one. But um, it needed to be because um, it is so useful and, and it really will beat the top players, I believe, in, in, in you know the Division 1s, your Division 2s in, in online. So guys, you can watch any of the two previous tutorials by clicking on the screen. You can get in contact with me if you've got any questions about this tutorial or any of the others. Just leave a comment below or you can contact me on Twitter at FIFA Solved and I always get back to everyone and answer everyone, no matter who you are, um, and you can contact me that way. Uh, you can subscribe to the channel if you haven't already and I'll see you for the next tutorial guys. Thanks for watching.